All right, everyone. Hello, and welcome back to another episode on Scrap Mechanic with me, Spacefish, and welcome back to our beautiful yet a little full home. We have, in the last episode, been hard at work getting a lot, a lot, a lot of trees knocked down to go and get ourselves some more wood to throw at our new house and well you can see right here we have indeed accumulated at least a bunch and uh, I've also been hard at work as usual in between episodes to make sure that we do get ourselves some materials we do have a good bunch of bricks ready to go and you know the thing is still in the middle of production so there is more coming as we speak and alongside that we do in fact even have a tiny bit of concrete for our second floor, if you remember, we do want to use that and painted form for our floors in the more industrial part of the building. And a few glass blocks. Well, I have made as many as possible until we ran out of uh, ember and chemicals, respectively. So, if and when we do run out of stuff today, our task is probably going to be to go ahead and get ourselves more chemicals, get ourselves more ember. But for starters, we will go ahead, I would say, and pack up our very vehicle with all these goodies that we now have. And then, once we're done, we will go and make our way over to the house and continue on our everlasting quest to finish that build. But while I am packing up, if you're new around here, if you do happen to enjoy this very episode, I just want to ask you to quickly make sure to go ahead and smash that subscribe button right down below. It would really mean the absolute world. We're quite a small channel and every single subscriber really always helps out a lot. With that out of the way though, back here we are and it is time to go ahead and get things slapped together. In fact, I just totally forgot to bring the wood, didn't I? Oh my god. Well, we will come back for that when the time comes, but we will go and grab uh, well, mostly some bricks and also the concrete. I guess we may as well just start laying that out, and then we will go and get to work. First and foremost, I'll, I'll let you just go and... Uh... Wow. <laughs> Oh, it always astonishes me. I, I I was kind of like, oh yeah, you know, like 110 blocks of concrete. That should last me at least for like a few minutes. And um, I didn't even really get more than like two or three steps into the ring before we ran out. So um, yeah, we'll definitely need a huge ton of chemicals. Good thing we do have our little chemical set up out there at the chemical pond. But we will definitely need to make sure to grab more of that. That said, we do have some holes. To fill in up top here so we will get started doing that uh, kind of just use up the bricks we'll uh, go and use that glass as well hopefully and um, oh, then we'll, then we'll kind of go from there right there there's uh, definitely going to be a good bunch of things for us to still do for today but you know first and foremost it would be really nice if we could finish closing off that ceiling and then well, I mean we do have one more ceiling up top to close up right so um, even when all these holes are filled in, it's not like, you know, we're done with bricks, so... Yeah, well, these can keep producing, uh... At the very least, we don't really need anything except for the stones, so that, that makes things a little easier in the production. We don't have to run back and forth for materials, so... Uh, those will just keep happily producing away, I think, for probably another you know, episode or two until we actually get to the point that we don't need them anymore because you can very easily tell I've just spent absolute ages collecting these materials and we are just literally burning those materials they're gone we're still not done filling in the ceiling I was like oh yeah I think we had like 1500 bricks or something right or maybe we do have like a few down below in the car still do we please please say we do Oh, we have two stacks still. Okay. So, um, well, you know, 1,500 bricks plus whatever we just got out there while the thing was still producing. Apparently enough, although quite barely, to be honest. I mean, uh, that was... We almost didn't make that one. Jesus Christ. But, we did make it in the end. And the ceiling of the second floor is complete. Which is absolutely beautiful. So, um... Well, one more ceiling to go, and 
I mean, in fact, I'm actually wondering... Do we want to make the ceiling out of bricks? I, I kind of have the cool idea of, you know, we could also just do glass? Would be cool, right? Um, but the thing is, I also wanted to, as you all know, consider to have some level of recessed ceiling lighting, right? So, if we consider something like that, you know, the, the, the light's kind of being hidden away in there, I suppose. Not quite sure how that's supposed to work. Something like that, right? For recessed lighting. And we will need this lighting in here as well, because of course at some point it does get dark. So, something along those lines maybe, right? So we'll go like two in from where the pillars, not the pillars, from where the frames end. Was it two? Yeah, it was two. So like two all around and then... With that, you could put some glass in the middle. I like it, you know, we can see the sun now and... I mean, the idea, of course, would be that if there was stars in the game, you could look at them. I'm quite sure they're not there, but... Well, you never know what may come in the future. And I think the idea is quite cool. So, we will absolutely be doing that. In fact, you know, we could actually consider... Yeah, I don't know, I mean, we're technically walking on that part, so I'm not sure if we'll ever make that a glass ceiling, but we could consider putting one here. Well, in fact, this is on our rooftop terrace, so I guess also probably not. In any case, we'll, we'll see when we get there, but this idea for the time being I like, I think we're definitely, definitely doing that. So, let's go and bring this stuff around. Uh, well, maybe not, because uh, we're out of materials. <laughs> Okay, well, you know, um, the one issue that that is kind of causing is that we'll need even more um, different materials, because now, you know, we will need a ton of ember to actually fill this all in, but still, I kind of like it. I think the concept is quite cool, and it doesn't really make the building look overly modern in any way, because when we look from down below in the future, you know, it'll, it'll still kind of not be visible, but when we are chilling in there, we'll absolutely be visible, and... Well, at the same time, you know, I would argue that this building already is probably quite a modern-ish design. But in any case, you know, I like the idea. So we're doing it. There's no stopping me. Um, you know, Spastic Cube told me now in the comments we definitely needed more glass, you know. I think his intent was more in, in the sense of, you know, making me run into more glass surfaces all around the house, so... That'll definitely happen, I can promise, in any case, but, you know, having some glass up top there, I think is quite cool, and now, I guess you guys also finally get to see my idea for the recessed lighting for the first time ever, I hope you like it, and I hope it's gonna turn out cool, so, that's also something that we'll have to implement, uh, probably, pretty much around the house, um, because, well, you know, we will want some light in the house to actually be able to see things, and, oh, we're gonna need quite a lot of these, so, um, That'll be a lot of brickwork, and then of course, you know, we need to pull in bricks around all the frames of all the walls, so... Well, keep those bricks flowing. We will definitely need them. That said, I think that's already all the materials we just picked up. If I'm not mistaken, we didn't put anything in there. This is all empty, so let us go and have a little quick trip back to the house, and we'll go and grab uh, whatever wood we actually have to go and do a little bit of flooring work. And then, we will also go and grab whatever bricks are flying around now, newly. Uh, also keep noticing that we're driving past the farm, and I always uh, think to myself that we do need to get some farming going again, because we are slowly but surely running low on food, and I always forget about it again, so... <laughs> we'll try and keep it in mind somehow, alright? We'll, we'll try our best. So there's some wood for us right there. Nothing else remaining in here, we'll just go and grab the remainder of those bricks, and then, uh... We'll actually make sure to pick the right vehicle. And all the way back home we go, well... Or... Hmm, well, we all the way to our new prospective home we go, right? Ah, it's still very far from home, I mean, Jesus Christ, look at this thing, it is absolutely insanely massive. We have spent so much time working on this. But like, holy moly, you know, if, if you look at, like, a real-life, um, building, grounds, thingy, whatever, we would probably be, like, a third of the way there. 
the basic frame is standing, basically. But, well, you know, it is coming along slowly but surely, and I am kind of glad that we do have a few more bricks flying around, because evidently there is a little hole here that I have not yet patched. So we will go ahead and do that, and then, um, probably, oh no, we have not pulled in this stuff yet, so we'll start with these bits here. Like that, and then, you know, we'll have to keep going around, and then we'll do the same thing on the other side too, as well, definitely. And we'll go from there. But, uh, that is all the bricks used. Now we have got some wood, and I'm not sure we've actually filled in everything downstairs yet. Well, I mean, down here I think we have, right? Glass, don't run into it. Don't do it, Spacey! Don't do it! Uh, we are... Seemingly quite good. Yeah, I would. Oh, I I almost did it. I almost did it, Spastic Cube. You almost had me again, but not today, or at least not that very minute. I I probably just jinx myself saying not today, so <laughs> instantly taking back that statement. But yeah, so here we needed to fill in some more stuff. Um, then though, moving on from that, as you guys know, as I said, you know, concrete down here that we will color. Um, I think we said dark grey and the orange I, I liked, so um, we in fact just pulled this stuff out so we do remember the proper colour combination that we wanted to go for, and we'll just kind of place that here for the time being. And, uh, well, there's that. So, we'll go and grab this, and uh, we'll go and head up one floor. Because up here, where we've just actually finished filling in the ceiling, as you can see, we are definitely planning on working with wood. And we also still need, uh... I was just talking about this matter with Spastic Cube down below in the comments. There, there was actually, unfortunately, a comment or two, which uh, uh, my answers were a bit delayed on, because somehow they slipped through my notifications. And uh, he had just told me again what this little pad was called in between, you know, different rooms. And now... Was it a perimeter? No. I've got no clue. We've, we officially forgot about the word again. I'm sorry. Uh, what do I say? It's, it's kind of the way it works with me these days, I suppose. But in any case, we'll, we'll continue filling in this floor. And we will continue very rapidly running out of materials as well. But we'll make sure to go and finish this. Now, I'm not sure if maybe I do want a little segment in between here and there too. I'm thinking not, but for the time being, I'm kind of just filling things back here. So yeah, definitely, well, quite, quite a lot left for us to fill in, unfortunately. But uh, we're getting further along, you know, a few more trees to be murdered, and uh, well, they were pretty much done with the wood. I mean, the question is also kind of being, what do we want here on our outside terrace? I am tempted to almost say we just take wood as well. Maybe we just color it a little differently to distinguish it from the rest. But, oh, you know, a wooden terrace sounds quite nice. So I do like the idea. Um, but apart from that, then, you know, we'll pretty much be done with the wood, at least for the main house. You know, then, then we kind of get to questions of, like, uh, using the garden and getting, like, a pin for animals, maybe. Getting, like, a garage. Getting... Um, our farm over here and stuff, and you know, and all those different applications. I could use some sort of materials, I'm sure, but, um, oh, you know, for the time being, we're mostly caring about getting the house ready, then getting a perimeter wall ready, and then we can go and build the rest of this stuff. Which, honestly, I mean, the perimeter wall is probably a little overdue, given just how many materials I've thrown at this thing. I, I kind of really am a little, get, getting a little more and more worried about this. That said though, um, I guess that concludes our efforts of, you know, bringing the house along for today. Doesn't look from the outside as though we've made much of any progress, but I can assure you we've just thrown like about 2,500 blocks of the darn thing, so you know. Ah, this is really the project of the century, I can tell you guys. But, with that said then, I would say we will go and have a quick little look at getting amber and getting chemicals. Now, uh, matter of fact, we do need some inventory space for that, because uh, we are going to fly over. Well, maybe even in both cases. And, uh, well, 
you know, we do just need some space in our inventory then to kind of carry the stuff around because, well, our little bike doesn't, well, flying bike, you guys know what it is, uh, does not have any sort of storage attached, so, well, that's the way that'll have to work. Ah, yeah, we did not have a fuel tank attached to that, but that said, we do not really have much fuel on this thing. Oh my god, would I just do? I don't know. So, we'll have to see. Hopefully, we do have some fuel still in here. Which we don't. Well, we do have a little bit of crude oil, so I would say... Let us just go and quickly schedule that. And, uh, well, then, then we'll just... Kind of carry that with us and hope that it's enough. I mean, well, we'll see how much we have when we come back from the chemical pond, right? If we're really, really, really low on fuel, I may just have a quick trip to the oil pond before we go for the uh, ember. But in any case, you know, the flying thing is quite nice and fast. So I do really kind of want to use the thing to get around. So we don't spend forever, even for the ember, just getting things. At the end of the day, it's probably the quick solution. So, uh, going back over with our newly acquired fuel. Let's go and fill that thing up. Oh, we cannot even fill that one up properly. Hmm. Okay, maybe. Ooh, that's definitely the wrong button. Um, right. Ah, yeah. That's, that's how we steer this thing. Maybe we will. Oh, God. If I manage to steer my way around, maybe we actually will. Just go for a quick trip to the oil pond. Bonk. Oh! We'll just go for a quick trip to the oil pond in an effort to get some very necessary crude oil. Because evidently, you know, we're quite low. And do you notice this? I think the devs have really buffed the speed of that bomb. Like, look at that. Just filling up a stack so, so quickly. I did notice that when... Uh, grabbing some water earlier for the concrete already that it was quite insane so um yeah I mean I like it I'm not complaining about that whatsoever I think it's totally fine uh, at the end of the day who really wants to wait for three years for that kind of stuff right so um oh no I'm sorry didn't want to murder you didn't want to damage you um well Oh, it was a little failure, wasn't it? So, uh, let's go in through all this stuff at here. Uh, I may have collected a bit much crude oil thinking about it. Um, I mean, it does somewhat still all fit in there. It doesn't really mean that it's, you know, not too much, I guess. Um... Well, just alternate these on, on endless crafts for the time being, I would say. Where do I put this, though? Could we just kind of, you know, make sure to make some use of this, please? Well, I do have the suspicion that it'll take a second till my inventory's actually empty. I'll be right back. Right, back we are, and, um... Well, I do have to say, generally speaking, this stuff is still quite full. Um, in fact, maybe a bit too full. Uh, we'll just take these bricks and we'll store them kind of in the in the vehicle out here, right? And um, well, no, let me store it in. Oh, well, let me store it in here, I guess. So yeah, uh, we'll do that. We do at least have some extra fuel now that way with us, so that's quite nice, and we don't need to be as worried about running out. I am just going to make sure to fill up these engines again, because as you can see, they are already used up a good bunch of that fuel. So I do want to make sure that we're good there. And then... Oh, there's a signal. And then we will go ahead and go for lift off and yeet ourselves all the way over to that chemical pond. And this is the beauty, oh god, at the end of the day of the flying vehicle. It's just how quickly we're passing over all this, right? You guys know just how long I would be taking just, like, getting the car to, like, somewhere in the vicinity of over here. Like this, I mean, Jesus Christ. It is so, so good having this. Um, not too happy about the balance issue still, but eh. Won't we'll get back to this, or, you know, you may just build something... A little more distinguished and proper at some point. But for the time being, totally happy with it. Jesus Christ, that pump, man. 
I really don't know what's up with these pumps. They're absolutely mad. Well, this one did not have the time to pre-pull that much chemical, I guess. So, uh, let's do it like that. I'll place another quick cut and I'll just, you know, be back when we have our inventory filled. Alright, back we are. I just had the... Well, slight revelation that filling the inventory entirely may not be the best idea in the world, given that we kind of just, um, well, you know, we, we just kind of filled that thing up entirely with crude oil. So I'm not quite sure where all these chemicals are supposed to go now, uh, truth be told. So um, we will kind of have to find out about that one. That's going to be a bit of a curious one, I suppose. But, uh, well, you know, hopefully we manage at some point somehow. I, mean, we may, we, I don't know, we may just stack this stuff in some corner or something. Um, well, you can already tell that our already quite um, messy and congested flat is only getting messier and even more congested. Uh, I'm also really worried about this tilt now, to be honest. We are not heading the way we want to. To the left. Okay, that looks a bit better. Um, halt! Uh, upwards. Oh, okay. That works, that works. Totally fine, we're home. Hello! Okay, so, um, yeah. <laughs> what do we do now? Um, I may have slightly overdone it with that run, haven't I? Uh, I think we've found ourselves a new chemical storage, and it's going to be right up here, but um, well, stacking all of these in the corner is really not the most fun experience in the... Do we have enough stuff to just, you know, maybe manufacture another crate, please? No, we don't. We're missing clamshells, which that is something I would like to think of some way of harvesting them at some point as well. But we're still in process of building the house, I mean, it's going to... Take us absolute ages till we're done with that. Um, do we have some random small chests remaining, maybe? Oh, this is awful with electronic circuits. Oh, we can stash some into here. It's going to make life a little easier. Well, that is until we go and farm the ember, right? And, uh, oh, I was actually reminded we do have a wardrobe and a dress spot here. I haven't used that in, like, about ten years, so... You know, good, good, good to remember, but uh, thanks to the comments and for reminding me that that is actually a thing. Uh, we do probably want to farm some more cool stuff for that at some point. I would absolutely love to, you know, maybe just do a random warehouse, but... Well, with the Mammoth Project, that is the new house. I guess that may take a little while before we get there. That said, uh, we're just going to go and stash these last few chemicals in the corner here. And then, you know, that's the inventory emptied. And then it's about time to go and get some ember, I suppose. That said, though, uh, it seems that we're unfortunately already out of time for today's episode. So, um... I may just end up getting the ember myself, or maybe, you know, start of next episode, we'll just go together. Um, just depends on how much time I have, or how much you guys want to see us go farm some ember, I suppose. And, um, well, then we'll be back at the house, building more stuff, you know, we'll get some more concrete going with all those fresh chemicals, we'll go and get some more glass going with all that fresh ember, and, uh, well, then, you know continue all the material frenzy building away at our beautiful house and hopefully getting it ready sometime soon with all that said though for today i'm ending it off right here i hope you all very much enjoyed this episode as usual if you did please make sure to go ahead and smash that like button right down below for the youtube algorithm and if you're new around here and haven't done so just yet also please consider subscribing right down below as well as hitting that bell icon in order to stay up to date on all the future upcoming episodes with all those things out of the way, though, as usual, everybody, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll catch you in the next episode very, very soon. Ciao.